Good morning, good morning, everyone. It's getting ready to be the afternoon. This is Betty Riddick coming to you from the Healing House, where there is healing for your mind, your body, and your soul. Um, I am a uh, global spiritual strategist. I am a mind, body, and soul expert. I am also an author. And I want you all to know that this is a time of rest. And I, you know what? You know how I know this is a time of rest? I love you all. I don't mind doing what I do. But I realized that this is a time of rest for me. Good morning, Shante. How are you, beautiful soul? Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm just simply committing to my commitment that I will be coming on on Wednesdays and Sundays. And I just realized this morning, you know what, Betty? Because um, I need I need rest and peace. But I'm going to have peace in my life by any means necessary. And I meditate on John 14. Peace I leave with you, says the Lord. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Stop being afraid in this in this time. Fear not, it is a time of rest and peace. And I realized that I was doing so much for Facebook and doing so much on Facebook and doing so much on Facebook until I had that aha moment. I had that aha moment. You know, I'm going to be getting on and getting off. I have been spending too much time. And this is a time for rest and peace. And I realized that when I went back over on Facebook and looked at my videos, I'm going to be at one half an hour. I'm going to be in half an hour because I need my rest and my peace at this time. Um, you all need your rest and your peace at time. And one thing I was um, thinking on is that, you know, some of you, I know you have your family, you have the kids at home and um, you can still find rest and peace during this time. Um, you know, I decided to work around my house, continue to make me my number one of priority. You can find rest and peace during this time, you know. Um, I, I, I'm not going to say that I am a relationships expert, but one thing I can tell you is that I remember, you know, raising my kids, being in the relationship with my children's father, you know, keeping the house clean, cooking, going to work, doing everything that a mother should do, you know, and doing, you know, fathers doing what they can do as well. And my, my beautiful souls, um, I know that there is a time for for the for the for the mother to take uh, time for rest and peace for the father to take time for rest and peace. You can really do that. You can really, truly do that. It's called communication. Um, you can communicate with each other. Say, you know what, honey, I need to take my time for my rest and the peace. You take care of the kids at this time. Honey, I need to take, I need some rest and peace during this time. You take care of the kids at this time. Because like I continue to say, there is no reason to feel like this is a chaotic situation during this prophetic time. There is time for you as an individual to make you your number one priority and to get rest and peace. It's imperative that you get rest and peace during this time. Because I had to check myself. I was doing too much on Facebook. I apologize. My eye is itching. Um, I was taking too much time on Facebook and then I forgot about me. I forgot about me, my number one priority. I mean, I was grinding away on Facebook and then I had to check, check, check. You know, I love you all. I'm, and I decided that what I'm going to do is commit to my commitment. I am a morning person, so I'll come on in the morning and get off so I can get get on with my already blessed and stress-free day, get on with my blessed and peaceful mind, get on with my restful mind. You know, we all need peace and rest at this time. Please take care of you, okay? Take care of you. Um, it's okay to get peace and rest during this time because I know I was on Facebook and somebody was saying that, you know, I'm getting stressed out being at home. Well, find something to do. You can honestly find something to do. I know some of you may not be homeowners. You may not, you may live in an apartment. You may be living in a hotel. You may not have the liberty to do things around a house like I am doing. Um, but however, I had to check myself and say, Betty, wait a minute. You're not making you your number one priority. I want you to make you your absolute number one priority during this time. Get your peace and rest. Sleep in. You know, sleep in. Get you some sleep. I, I sleep in, but I'm staying up late, you know, doing what I need to do for Betty Riddick. But it, get you some rest because this time is going to pass. 
because this isn't going to last always. Get you some rest because there's going to be a time when we go back to work and we're going to wish we were back at home. There's going to be time when we go back out here into the world. I know when I go sh grocery shopping, I don't like to do that. I don't like grocery shopping, but this is the time to get you some rest and peace because we're going to get back to the norm. And then when we get back to the norm, you're going to be, some of you may be like me. So, oh, I wish I could leave work now. I wish I can, didn't have to go to this grocery store. I wish I didn't have to run these errands. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish I was back at home. So it's imperative that you find something to do during this time because this time is going to pass and you're going to wish you had this time again. I know that's, that's just my thought process to you all, but find rest and peace during this time. Get you some rest, you know. Um, this can be a time for a mental shutdown, you know, mental shutdown. Have yourself a mental shutdown because we're, this is going to pass. It is going to pass. So get as much rest as you can. Get peace of mind during this time. And please don't feel like you can't get rest and peace because the kids are home, this, that, and the other. You can do it. Just make time. Make time to get rest and peace because I know that's what I'm doing. I had to check myself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Seriously. That's what I had to do. I had to come to terms with, wait a minute, Betty, you are doing too much on Facebook. I love what I'm doing on Facebook, but I was doing too much. I'm not lying. I love what I, I do, but I was doing too much for Facebook and I love what I do. And then I had to realize, Betty, wait a minute. Uh-oh. God is your number one priority. You are your number one priority and your housework and what you need to do for Betty Riddick is your number one priority. I'm not being selfish. I'm being selfless. This is the time to be selfless selfless, my beautiful souls. This is the time to be selfless, to get your rest and your peace. Get rest and peace during this time. You know, the Bible makes it clear. The word says, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. Uh, and come unto me, all you that are heavy, that, that labor hard and are burdened, and I will give you rest and I will give you peace. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy burden, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. He will give you peace, peace that surpasses all understanding. And this is what I understand. This is what I came to understand. My peace was taken away. My mind was moving 1,000 miles per hour, trying to figure out what can I do on Facebook? What can I do for Facebook? And I love what I do for you all. But then I realized, you know what, Betty, your mind is moving too fast because you're thinking about what can I do on Facebook? What can I do for Facebook? And I love what I do for you all. Then I realized, uh-oh, Hold up, baby. Put on the brakes. Some of you have to put on the brakes. Put on the brakes and understand that this truly is a time for rest and peace, regardless to what's going on right now, regardless as to what's going on in your home. Regardless, this is a time for rest and peace. You have to find some time. Take your time out. I had to take my time out in my mind. My mind was rolling on what can I do for Facebook. And then I realized, Betty, you know what? Shut it down. Slow it down. You are not your number one priority at this time. You're doing too much for Facebook. And I love what I do, but I'm going to be coming on on the morning. I'm going to cut it back to a half hour, or maybe 20 minutes and get on with my already blessed day because I need peace and I need rest. I really do. I'm, I won't complain in Jesus name. Please don't think I'm complaining. I don't complain. I thank the Lord for waking me up early this morning, clothing my powerful, fearless, resurrected right mind. I thank the Lord for allowing me and blessing me to do what I do for you all. I thank the Lord. I thank him because this too shall pass what we're going through. But get you some get you some rest and peace of mind. Find you some coping skills. Find some coping skills. Find some coping activities. You know, like I said, get out and drive around in your car. I'm not going to be long before you, you know, I'm not going to be long. I, I've been going too hard and too long for Facebook. I love you all. I do. I have things that I have to do right? Make sure you're taking care of you during this time, because I'm telling you, when this is over, when this passes, oh, there's going to be time where we wish we weren't at work, where we wish we didn't have to go out into public and run these errands, deal with these different type of personalities and people that we deal with sometimes in the community. Like now, when some of us go out and we got people that are not taking this virus very seriously, they're doing wicked acts. You know, they really are. There are some people out here doing wicked acts. I remember when I was at the Home Depot the other day, 
that this man just started digging in his nose and just started touching the shopping cart and following me. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. And I was talking to the store representative, tell her, you know, I'm watching this guy. I'm watching him. And I remember the story from Lehigh Valley um, where my sister told me um, a, a person coughed all over the produce section and, and they had to throw away about $35,000 worth of food and she was incarcerated. So there's going to be times, there's going to be times when we wish we didn't have to be um, isolated from society. We, we, there's going to be times when we wish there was no social distancing because I know when I go out and run errands, there are just people, there are just mean and nasty and ugly, wicked people. And those type of people are always going to be with us. Thus says Genesis 6 in the Bible, when, when God told Noah to build the, build the ark, he told Noah to build the ark because uh, corruption and wickedness came on the land. And and that's this is what I'm trying to tell you all. God is going to do what he has to do during this. So during that time, and in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And in the beginning, you know, the world was full of co corruption and violence and the world and, and, and God put his hand on it because he's got the whole world in his hand. He's in control. He's in, in charge. And he told Noah, you build this ark because I'm sick of this foolishness, this nothingness, this messiness, this craziness. I'm not going to tolerate it. You see, God said he wasn't tolerating that because that's not what he created the heavens and the earth for. He didn't create the earth for that. He didn't create the earth for foolishness, nothingness, violence and, and, and corruptionness and all of that. So he's putting a halt to it, just like he did in Genesis 6. Study to show yourself approved. And he said, Noah, take two of every kind of animal. Take every kind, take two of every kind of animal and, and get out of this corrupted and wickedness and meanness and ugliness. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you all, there's going to be a time when this passes. Because God is still in control. He's still on the throne. So get your rest and your peace like me. I'm getting ready to get into my Bible study. I'm getting ready to get into the word that I got from my spiritual daddy, Bishop T.D. Jakes. And I'm not going to be long before you, but I want you to understand, believe it or not, this is truly, truly a time of rest and peace. Get your rest. Get your rest. And, 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 and have peace of mind. Peace that surpasses all understanding. Because I know as for me. I say to myself all the time, I'm going to have peace in my life by any means necessary. And I mean that you should have peace in your life by any means necessary, because you know what? We are going through some character building moments. Don't you know what? I, I want you all. That's thank you, Holy Spirit. I want you all to be careful about what you say to the universe. You know what I'm saying? Please be careful. Good morning. Good morning. That looked like Tanya Oxendine. I'm not sure. But one thing I want to tell you all, please, 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 please be careful what you say to the universe. Be careful what you say to the universe. I was I, I, I follow this one beautiful soul of mine and he is so encouraging to me. And he, he, he made a statement and he had the word darkness in it. He had the word darkness in it. My beautiful soul, this is not a dark moment. You know, get darkness out of your mind. I, I don't co-sign. One thing I can tell you all is that I don't, there are just some things I'm not going to co-sign on. There are some words that I'm not going to co-sign on. I, I am here to help you all. Be careful what you put out to the universe because if you're posting about darkness, uh, that, that that makes me wonder, are you living in darkness at this time? This is not a dark moment. This is a character building moment. This is simply a prophetic time. This is not a time for darkness. When I see the word darkness and you all, please be careful. You walk in the light, be in the light. Be in the light. This is not a dark moment. You know, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. This is not darkness. We walk in the light. He is the light. He is the light of the world. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in the heaven who is light. You know, don't let this character build a moment. Don't let this prophetic time allow you to think that you're in darkness. No, there is no darkness in this. There is rest and peace and light in this. Come on, get in check with whose you are and who you are. There is light. There is still light. I don't like the word darkness. God delivered me from stress, depression, and anxiety. And I'm following so many of you beautiful souls. I'm following you on Facebook. Come on, don't stop being consumed with this 
uh, um, pandemic. Stop being consumed with this pandemic because you are you are seeing darkness in this moment. And this is why I say I'm not following this pandemic. You know, I'm not. I'm not. Somebody's getting ready to get blocked because they just sent me an inbox. See what I'm saying? I'm live helping beautiful souls like you. And, and I, you know what you are? I was meditating this morning. I have a zero tolerance. I'm getting ready to tell you all again. Somebody got a nerve to be inboxing me while I am live. I'm telling you all, I have a zero, zero, a high zero tolerance for foolishness, nothingness, messiness, all of that. I don't play games. And see, this is, you know what? I'm going to tell you all, but I'm going to keep calm, right? I'm going to keep calm. But whoever this is, is getting ready to get blocked in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because I am 58 years old. I'm a child of Bonnie Riddick. And I know Bonnie Riddick told me one time, I'm only going to tell you once. And I'm going to continue to tell you all once. I'm 58 years so I don't play games. I don't do inboxing. I respect you. But however, I'm not going to let that steal my joy. Please continue on in rest and peace. Okay. Continue on and rest in peace. This is a time for rest and the devil is busy. I know the devil is trying to play games with me, y'all, but the devil is a lie and the truth ain't in him because you know what? I don't co-sign on foolishness. I'm not a little child. I don't play kindergarten games. I get rest in peace. You see what I'm saying? I hear what thus says the Lord. And even during these times, the devil is busy through social media. The devil is busy through social distancing. But I tell you what, devil, you have just been blocked in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth because I tell you all I say what I say I mean what I mean I said it I meant it I'm here to represent it now I have somebody else that I have to block you know what I'm saying but I love you all I want you to know I don't even know what time it is I don't even want to go over half an hour because I've been doing too much been doing too much but I'm going to get back to my already blessed and stress-free day I'm going to get ready to get into my word and I'm going to continue in my restful and peaceful day. And that's what I want you all to do. Continue in your restful and peaceful day. Because remember what the Lord tells you at John 14. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Let not your heart be troubled during this time. I promise you, if you have a household that is chaotic at this time, you know, like I had to say to myself about Facebook, I've been doing too much. I had to pull the plug. I had to pull the plug from Facebook. I had to pull the plug and realize that I'm going to have peace in my life that surpasses all understanding. I'm going to have rest in my life because there's going to be a time, you all, when we're going to wish we had some rest and peace once this is over. So enjoy your day. Relax. Um, pull the plug. Realize where do you have to pull the plug from? Where do you have to pull the plug from? Like I said, I'm not complaining. I won't complain in Jesus name. I promise you I won't. But what I realized, what I realized, my beautiful souls, as much as I love you, I've been doing too much on Facebook and forgot, I forgot about whose I am and who I am. You know, I'm a child of the Most High God. So are you. And since you are a child of the Most High God, that makes you a royal, 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 royal priesthood. And he gave you the most precious gift that you can ever get. I call it, he, he has given us many, many gifts. But the most precious one that I love is the, the gift of peace that surpasses all understanding. You can get rest during this time. Where do you need to pull the plug? Because I, rem I reminded myself when I was meditating, relaxing reflecting and release, release, release. I realized that I had to pull the plug from Facebook. I was doing too much. I was doing too much. You know, you could shut down social media for a little bit if you must. That's what I had to do and realize and understand. You got to shut down social media. You know, hey, how about this? Call somebody and forgive them. I had somebody call me the other day. I had a dear friend that I had in the past that called me the other day, Sunday, as it was a matter of fact, it was Sunday. As a matter of fact, some of you out there need to call some people and forgive them and then thank them. And I, I forgave. I, I, I told this individual on Sunday night, would you please forgive me? I am sorry because I thought it should be this way for me concerning 
the relationship that we used to have in the past and that person forgave me and I was so emotional because somebody had told me um, Betty you didn't give this individual any closure on why you weren't dealing with this individual anymore and I was saying in my mind you know what I don't have to give anybody any closure I don't owe anybody no explanations yes I did yes we do we have to give people closure you know, and this individual called me Sunday evening, and 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 I I I I I was so emotional. I said, "Would you? Pl I said, "Would you please forgive me? Call some people that you may need to forgive. Have a conversation. Forgive people for peace of mind, for peace of mind. And don't you know that when that person said, "I forgive you, bet," it was like a ton of bricks were lifted up off of me. This is a time to get back together. This is a time to forgive some people. Make that simple phone call and say, forgive me. And guess what forgiveness is all about as well? Forgiveness is about peace of mind as well. Because even to this day, I'm so grateful that I had that conversation with that individual. And I said, would you please forgive me? We can't have things our way all the time. We cannot call somebody and say, please forgive me. And let the, let the conversation begin about forgiving each other. And then that have peace of mind about the individual, the situation. We can't have it our way. Because we have to let our light shine. And I'm so grateful that I had that calm. I'm so glad that individual called me. Because I finally heard what thus says an individual that said to me, you didn't bring any closure to it. And the individual was wondering why. And I got it off me. Make some phone calls. Forgive some people. You know, some people you have to forgive, but to keep this in mind too, depending on the severity of what happened, you can forgive them for peace of mind and then you can leave them alone for peace of mind. But I know this individual that I, I asked to forgive me, I'm going to talk to this individual on the phone again because it wasn't that detrimental. It wasn't that bad. It was me. It was me. So make a phone call for peace of mind. I felt so good when I asked this individual, would you please forgive me because of my thought process towards you? What I thought that should be done because I didn't feel like this, 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 and this. And when I had that conversation with the individual, the, the individual was so loving and caring and so kind. And I was guilty as charged. Some of us are guilty and we don't want to forgive, which takes away our peace of mind. So please forgive someone. Why don't we make that our homework for today? Forgive someone. I tell you, I felt great when I asked that person to forgive me. I felt so great. I'm, I feel emotional now, but I'm glad it's over. The closure is there. Take this time to forgive someone. Make that important phone call so that you can have peace. Peace that surpasses all understanding. Because anytime that you keep something in your mind too long, and, and you know, like I told somebody else, I said, please forgive me. I said, because you know what, you all, one thing I can't do. Some of you are out there holding a grudge, which is, which is still in your peace of mind. Some of you are holding a grudge. You've been holding that grudge too long, you know, and it's affecting your peace of mind. It's in your most precious commodity. Stop holding a grudge. You know, I told somebody the other day, please forgive me what I did to you. I am so sorry. I said, but I'm not the type of person to, to hold a grudge. I can't hold a grudge. I can't be mad at people. I can't do that. But what, because it will mess up my peace of mind. So do that. Call someone. Forgive them. Make closure so you can have peace. That surpasses all understanding. Okay, I'm getting ready to get off. I feel like I'm getting ready to bop, 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 bop. <laughs> So I'm going to get off and continue in my already blessed day. Please like and share. This is a time for rest and peace of mind. This is a time to make you your number one priority. This is a time to call someone and to forgive them so that you may have peace of mind. And then you'll be able to rest, right? You can rest. You can rest. I love you all. Please like and share. And remember... You're too blessed to be stressed. You're too anointed to be disappointed. You're too equipped to be with. I committed to my commitment of being on on Wednesday. I love you. God loves you. Uh, make you your number one priority. And know your mind is your most precious commodity. You're too blessed to be stressed. You're too anointed to be disappointed. You're too equipped to be with in Jesus' powerful name. Now let me go on ahead and block this person that inboxed me specifically while I was live. I love you all. Enjoy your already blessed day. Okay? Um, you know, call someone, forgive them, you know, bring closure to a situation like my sister told me. I did that. I did that. And I'm so glad that that person called me on Sunday. 
I love you all. Continue on your already blessed and stress-free day. Get your rest and keep your peace of mind. I love you.